Hi friends, Mario Cavallo here. Uh, this update is going to be a more formal update and more clear and specific without a lot of extra narrative commentary on my part. Um, I am the founder and CEO of M Communications Group and I'm offering these guidelines to everyone concerned with <clears throat> the coronavirus outbreak which began in China and is now rapidly spreading to other countries. The importance of this outbreak is for you to understand that this particular virus has certain characteristics and those characteristics make it a more nasty bug than your typical annual influenza flu type virus. <clears throat> We can argue all day long about comparisons to SARS, H1N1, as I did in my article. It doesn't matter that much about those comparisons. What matters right now is that you understand the characteristics of this particular virus, should it come to your neighborhood. So most relevant right now, it's for those of you in the United States, California, and now the first case in Manhattan. This leads me to telling you, you should be concerned if the virus comes to your neighborhood. And I'm going to share with you exactly the two reasons why that is the case. Okay. And this is, I also want to mention something very important because we are, we already know what the exact personality of this virus is. As a scientist and a virologist, no, nope, I'm not that. I can't tell you about the medical pathology exactly. I'm not that qualified to be that person. But we know the personality and characteristic of this. I need you to understand that China went through a strict period of isolation measures to prevent the spread of the virus. Mom was right. That's how you present the spread of a virus. If you don't come into contact with anyone or any surface that has the germs, has that virus, you can't get it. So that's the good news. There's no reason to panic, but there is a reason to have, to, but that's also your reason to have discipline. Mom was right. Don't ever touch door handles. Don't touch elevator buttons and handles with your fingers and your fingertips. Wash your hands frequently. And definitely stay away from other people when they sneeze, when they cough. They should be covering themselves, but, you know, run the other way. Yes, you're supposed to do all those things anyway. Now they're going to need to become regular habits of yours. If you hear that this virus comes to your city, okay, that's Northern California now, Manhattan. Why am I telling you this? Because, look at what happened if you don't control the spread of the virus. It spreads rapidly. So these are the two characteristics that I want you to understand about this virus. One, it is highly contagious. They call it the RO factor. It's somewhere between two and three. All that means is it's more virulent. It spreads. Okay, this is the first most important characteristic of this particular flu bug, virus, coronavirus. It's not an influenza bug. Forget all that. All you need to know is it's the personality of this particular bug. It really likes to spread fast and it's sneaky. Okay. Witness what happened in Wuhan. You don't want what happened in Wuhan, because once it hits a certain point, it keeps going. And I'll explain why in the second characteristic in a moment. Look at what happened in Italy. Oh, we had uh, all of a sudden five cases. And how quickly did that mushroom, where they even immediately started locking down the towns in northern Italy, Okay. And how quickly did it still mushroom? Oh, now there's 200, now there's 600, and now there's 900, over 1,000. How quickly? Iran. Oh, Lord help us all. 
the, the health minister standing in the press conference saying, I have the virus, I'm sick, and standing there and coughing. I mean, this was the ultimate in stupidity. And then look what happened in Iran, right? Nobody's paying attention. Nobody's trying to protect themselves. They're listening to the stupid, foolish Western media pundits, people who have no business talking about the virus and say, oh, it's just like a common cold, relax. I, I, I'm a conservative. There's things about Rush Limbaugh and other conservative news, Fox News, that I agree with. I'm pro-life. You know, I, I agree with a lot of that. But when it comes to this virus, they're saying disgraceful things. Dr. Mark Siegel, Fox News, resident medical expert, should have his license revoked. His comments are a disgrace. Okay, And I'm explaining to you why their flippant attitude is the problem. So if you don't wait for the CDC and all these other medical experts and pundits to tell you what to do, you just listen to me, all right? Just let me be your Uncle Mario here. I know what I'm talking about. By the way, you don't know me. You don't understand. I'm on the ground here in China. I'm in Shenyang in the Northeast. My family has been in the quarantine, like every other family in this entire country. 1.4 billion people worth of families. So divide that by what? 